today's lesson, we learn more about indicating location and how to describe actions or events which are in progress. Well, let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned how to say A is in front of B in Chinese. It's A 在 B 前面 or 前边. For example, 手机在电脑前面. 手机在电脑前面. 电脑 means computer. So the sentence means the mobile phone is in front of the computer. We also learned A 在B后面 or 后边, which means A is behind B. For example, 杯子在电脑后面. 杯子在电脑后面. The cup is behind the computer. Today, we'll learn more about the similar structures. Let's have a look at the first picture. In this picture, you can see the cat is on the table. In Chinese, we say 猫在桌子上面 or 上面 猫在桌子上面 猫 means cat 桌子 means table So, the structure A 在 B 上面 or 上面 it means A is on B. Well, in the second picture, the cat is under the chair. In Chinese, you can say 猫在椅子下面 or 下边. 椅子 means chair. So the structure A 在B下面 or 下边, which means A is under B. In the third picture, the cat is inside the bedroom. We say 猫在卧室里面 or 里边. 卧室 means bedroom. 猫在卧室里面. So the structure A 在 B 里面 or 里边, it means A is inside B. And in the fourth picture, the cat is outside the bedroom. We say 猫在卧室外面 or 外边. 猫在卧室外面. So the structure A 在B外面 or 外边. Which means A is outside B. Well, let's read the four sentences again. 猫在桌子上边. 猫在椅子下边. 猫在卧室里边. 猫在卧室外边. And as we know, there are two ways to change these sentences into yes or no questions. The one way is just add the word ma at the end, like 猫在桌子上边吗? The other way is just put 不在 after 在, like 猫在不在桌子上边? 